you get on your own way. Um, I uh, am working on a play right now, so we're going to read an excerpt from the scene. This is Kyle on top. Um, but that's not our name to play. Alright, cool. Thanks for having me. My name in the play is Diggs. It's short for Diggs. I'm still right now. Thank you, Kyle. Is there something you want to talk about? Yes. This is the part where you talk. <laughs> you are my friend. Yes. So, you know, I feel like I can tell you anything. Oh god, you're not in love with me again, are no. you? No! Good, I mean, I didn't think so. You haven't even started drinking yet tonight. Look, never mind. Come on out with it. I actually can't talk about it. You just said you can tell me anything. It's not my secret. I mean, it's not a secret. It's more like a confidence. It's not like it's a bad thing. It's just, I'm, it's complicated. So just talk to the person you told you in the first place. I can't. It would make me feel like a bad person. A bad person? Are you in the third grade? Diggs, you're not making any sense. Just tell me. All right, you were involved with ACT UP San Francisco, right? Were they the kooky AIDS denialists? Don't change the subject. Would you tell me more about that? Why don't you think that HIV causes AIDS? You're vastly oversimplifying their argument. So teach me. Is it some conspiracy theory stuff about how the government tried to kill gay people with AIDS? The government kills people with AIDS all the time. All right, you know what I mean. What spoke to me about their argument was about the, the drug companies. They have too much of an influence on AIDS policy, and the patients have too little true information about how to manage their own bodies, how their own treatment plan. How do you not know what I want to talk about? Just spit it out! I'm politically opposed to discussing it. Oh, oh, what if, what if you can telepathically sense it? Then it would be like I told you at all. What are you doing? Can you tell what I'm thinking about? I've never seen anything more ridiculous. Have you seen Millie tonight? Yes. How did you know? Have you had sex with her yet? No. We're going to soon. She's anxious. I can tell. I'm just, I'm just not ready. You're not freaked out by your junk, are you? No, I mean, I was at first. A little, maybe, but not now. I mean, that's the least of my concerns. We just, I need one more day. We haven't really had the same sex discussion. There's a discussion? Do you know what I'm thinking yet? Oh god, we're back to this. Just think. <laughs> okay, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Thank God. I mean, I've been insane all week since I found out. I mean, I don't know why, but then I read all these things on the internet, and it gets in my head, and I think the hardest part is that I could talk to her about it, but I don't want her to think I'm freaked out, which I clearly am. God, it feels so good to talk to you about this. I need you to understand. Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about. I thought I did, but I would totally Ah! Okay. Listen. We can talk about you, okay? Everything we talk about is about you, not me. Okay. Have you ever had sex with someone who you knew was HIV positive? Yes. Oh, okay, I think I know now. I don't know why I'm so stressed out. I feel really bad that I'm making it all about me. But you can't say anything to anyone. Ever. I wouldn't. Talking about this to you, to anyone, it's wrong. I shouldn't. I just, I didn't know what to do. I don't know why it was such a big deal even. Am I a bad person? What would you have done? Would you have blabbed to your friend? Probably not. God. I'm going to gay hell. There is something intensely cliche about you fucking an HIV positive transsexual woman. I'm sure I saw a movie about this. A transsexual man and a transsexual woman in a Sarah discordant relationship. Oh, what happened in the end? Uh, I don't know, I fell asleep. I can do this, it's no big deal. What do two transsexuals do in bed together anyways? If I had to guess, I'd say probably cry. Thanks! <laughs> You're a big help. Just do what comes naturally. <laughs> naturally. That'll be the day. You won't tell anyone, will you? No. This is a big secret. This is the biggest secret that I've been trusted with that I subsequently totally failed to keep. You trust me? I do. Okay, what happens if she tells you sometime? How surprised are you gonna look? No, no, bigger. Let's try again. I'll be her, you be you. Howard, I have something I'd like to tell you. I'm HIV positive. Now, what do you say? Millie, I never would have guessed it. Not that. Try again. <laughs> Howard, I'm HIV positive. Yeah, right, you and my mom both. <laughs> be ridiculous, isn't that what you want? Okay, you be her and I'll be you. Go. Ring, ring, pick up the phone. She wouldn't tell you over the phone. Of course she would, I have an excellent phone demeanor. <laughs> ring. Hello, this is Howard. Hi Howard, this is Millie. I'm that tranny that's fucking your friend Diggs. Do you remember me? Oh yes, he speaks very highly. That's very nice to hear. Well, listen, I've only just got a minute here, but I wanted to tell you know, I wanted to let you know that in addition to being a male to female transsexual woman, I am also HIV positive. HIV, as you are probably aware, is the virus that may or may not cause AIDS. You don't say. Well, thank you for letting me know. It's been very nice chatting with you, and I wish you the best of luck with that boy. I hear he's a real tiger in the sack. 
Actually, he's a real wreck in bed, and I'm probably going to dump his crony ass if he doesn't get his shit together soon. Really? Well, as his best friend, I would like to strongly urge you to reconsider that. And remember all the other things he does so well, and how he's so good at making you laugh. He's an excellent conversationalist. Howie, a girl got needs, and one of those needs is to be fucked like a two dollar whore. If Diggs can't do it, I'm sure I can find some other asshole who can. You know, Millie, I'm sure you can, but Diggs, he really likes it. You should give him some time. You kids have a lot of great chemistry, and I'm sure with a little encouragement, he'd be a really great lover to you. Do I look like a sex therapist? No, do but... You, don't you think I'm hot? You do me, right? Yeah, absolutely. Great, listen, I'm gonna come over right now. What? No! I've always thought you were much sexier than Diggs anyway. I can't wait, wait to ride your dirty pony. Ride my... Wait, ride See you in 10, sex machine. No, no, Diggs is my Julie, friend. she already hung up. That was terrible. Really? I thought it went really well. <laughs> Thank you very much.